Hey guys, welcome to Let's Play Red Dead Redemption 2. Outlaw End, we just finished the first one, time to start the second one. Alright, here we got a great opening intro. We got Mount reading a book because, you know, he's a nerd. And we got Jack playing some good old classic games right now. He's playing Red 1. He'll also play Red 2. And eventually, Blue. Blue drew Ballad and eventually even... It's like blue, which I was kind of surprised I could expect blue, but it's like Bowman. I don't know. But yeah, I'll play that in blue one and two. And, um, yeah, so he's just playing right now. You know, any time, it doesn't matter what game Jack's playing, each time he either ends up with him either dying or a cutscene shows up right there. Oh, now start change uh, to the next game. Oh, it's he's playing red two now. Okay, I was kind of hoping for a uh, blue to come on, but whatever. Anyway, um, yeah, we'll just start off the game now. Um. Uh, let's see. First options, configuration controls. Okay, got that all down. Yep, controls good. Audio good. Okay, display subtitles on. Don't worry, how could seem an option? Uh, let's see. Yeah, on. Didn't give you automatically on. Was an option in first game, so. At least they give you it up front this time. So, uh, yeah. Got everything good? Okay. And left, uh, just start off the game now. Okay. Your game. We actually have a new voice for Jack now. It's coming up. See? Oh, God. It's a new voice. Jack, like. You can tell it's a different voice actor, but it's still Jack's voice. Like, you can just envision it. Yeah, Jack now has a new clothing outfit, so just... Bounty or stuff, because he got a full ranching stuff. It's better than a bounty on your attire. I'll be honest, though. Uh, yellow is not Jack's colors. As far as whole body is concerned, that soup does not look too hot. In my opinion. Okay, but yeah, we get, guess what? We got all this cool stuff. Ready? Weapon lineup and quick select actually pauses when you do it and you get all these awesome weapons right up the front end. So you got a knife, a revolver, and a rifle too. You start with a rifle. Good. At least some long guns to start well, with. Both we'll pistol and a long gun. And guess what? Still dead eye. And strafing, see? Strafing, look, see? Wasn't really strict in the first game. Other than that How one point. Like oh. Got alert. Down. Yeah, and... There's a lot more incentive to use your weapons. To use your guns now, because eventually if you use them enough, they upgrade. So, you really only... Barely ever use your knife except for cutting stuff, opening things. Really, it's your guns or the most, because... You kill enough enemies with your guns, then they upgrade. So that's real nice. It's much more incentive to use them now. It's red one is completely second nature just to use your knife. In this game, it's completely second nature to use your gun. Yeah, but you know it's weird because a lot of people say it's their least favorite of the first three red games. I'd probably say it's my favorite. I mean, like I won't talk about red three right much right now. I'll get into that when I get into it, but. It's definitely better than Red 1. Yes. Shoot the horse dead. It's dead now. Walking on this area. Just like you showed me, Pa. Yep. Now 
out for the nasty part. Overcome.
This one reeks. Come on! Let's slow down.
I've been marooned out here. Could I trouble you for a ride to the next town? Lucky for you, my life's empty. <laughs> <laughs>